sure to check out HLS Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Collectibles GameStop exclusive Batman vs. TMNT Robin and Raphael 2-pack. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see we do get the same style collector friendly box that we got with the Batman and Leonardo 2-pack. So we do get the window right there in the front of the box on the top they'll see only at GameStop 25 pieces which are the two figures and everything included and also says DC Collectibles on the bottom says Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Robin and Raphael action figure 2-pack and then here is the bottom of the box with the barcode and blah blah so if nobody cares about then here is the top of the box and then on one side we do get the same image of the turtle shell and who sculpted the figures as well the other side of the box does have the continuation of the window then the back of it to show the other figures in this series and as I mentioned these are the only two sets that have released as of right now and there's a little bio right there so if you'd like to read that you can pause it right now and give it a read but anyway that is the packaging let's get this two pack open to take a closer look at my favorite ninja turtle and the fourth or fifth robin i believe i don't know which one it is because there's been so many of them i lost count Alrighty, righty take it a closer detailed look and we'll take a look at robin first which is so far the worst figure in this line it just has a lot of qc issues look at how loose those joints are, man. I have difficulty standing them up, so really, really not happy with this figure. The detail, though, turned out really nice, and it looks like how Robin does look in the animated movie. I think the face sculpt looks great. Very clean paintwork around the mask, the eyes, and where the hair meets the skin tone and everything. And the hair sculpt looks pretty good, too, so definitely nice job on the uh, head sculpt there. And then we do have two interchangeable heads. This is the unmasked, of course, so we do get a separate hood piece here with this cape and the hood and the cape turned out pretty pretty good i'm surprised they didn't give us a cloth cape though we'll get nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout it clean paint where that yellow meets the uh black as well and then for the torso here we do get some nice paint work once again we get the r robin symbol on the left side of the chest which looks great you do have to be careful with paint and uh, plastic rub with this figure along with Raphael as well but uh the paint's pretty clean on it the arms i guess nice sculpt detail nothing nothing too crazy going on there the gauntlets look pretty good too then the belt looks all right just a little bit of a uh, gray paint over here but not the uh worst thing in the world and then the legs we do get his skinny legs there that have horrible joints uh but the uh the boots look pretty good very nice uh, sculpt and paint detail on those and on the bottom of them we get some pretty cool sculpted tread so overall the detail on robin it turned out great it's just he has a lot of loose joints man and that's not good <laughs> at all come on stand up you bastard damn it there we go now let's take a look at Raphael. and taking a closer look at raf something i noticed right out of the box is this mark right here on the uh the bottom or the front of his shell which i'm not too happy about so there was some sort of pain issue there that isn't too nice looking. He also has loose leg joint syndrome as well. But the detail on Raphael turned out great besides that thing there. And the mask looks great. He has a scar going across his eye, which looks still very clean paintwork on the head sculpt right there. They added the black lines in there to give it that cartoony animated type look, just like with Robin. Then we get his bandana piece, which looks pretty cool, hanging down the left side of his torso right there. And then his shell turned out fine. Like I said, just that issue right there. They added the black lines. The belt looks dope. And the back of the shell, definitely one of my favorite things about these DCC Ninja Turtle figures. I love the way their shells look. And then on the back here, this is where you holster his size. They just go right in the hall. I'll show you guys that later. But I like the wrappings right there, how they added the, uh, the black paint in between each wrapping. I think that looks pretty cool. And the belt is like a softer, rubbery type plastic. And it is glued on the arms look fine too nice sculpt and paint detail all throughout it and like i said with leonardo i don't like how they did uh, the elbow pads how they kind of just hang there when you bend the elbow joint so i really don't like the look of that and then the legs here nice sculpt and paint work the knee pads look dope and the lower legs they, they have huge calves and feet but a uh, nice sculpt and paint detail in the bottom of them not too much going on so overall the detail on these dc collectibles batman vs team and t figures is definitely the best aspect to these figures yeah they do have some loose joints but the paint sculpt turned out pretty good on them you just have to be careful of plastic rub and paint rub but anyway 
Let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, and this is definitely where this two-pack does shine. Same thing as the Batman and Leonardo two-pack. The accessories were definitely awesome, and they hooked us up with more than enough. So what we do get, we do get a total of four interchangeable head sculpts. So we do get two for Robin and two for Raph. I L. And starting on the left for Robin, we do get the unmasked or unhooded head sculpt, which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging, and then you do get the removable a hood that's down as well and then also for Robin we do get the hooded head sculpt and for some reason you get more limited articulation with this head sculpt compared to that one but you get some great uh, sculpt and paint detail on both alternate head sculpts and for Raphael we do get the basic one with the stern face that does come on the figure out of the packaging then we do get the yelling screaming head sculpt here with the helmet on there and I actually just would have preferred a yelling screaming head sculpt looking like this for Raphael, but we get some great detail throughout both those head sculpts as well, and both their heads are very easy to swap out. I'll show you how to do that right now quickly. And like I said, swapping the heads is very easy. They're just on ball pegs. So for Robin here, you just pull up, his head pops right off, and take the lowered hood off as well, then take this head sculpt here, pop that on, and there you go, as simple as that. And as I mentioned, for some reason you get less articulation with the hooded head sculpt, so that's how you swap Robin's head sculpts. For Raphael, same thing, just pull up, pop the head right off, take this one here, push down. Oh, that one's a bit of a pain. And just be careful not to stab yourself with that spike on the top of the head. Look at all the paint rub for the, from the bandana piece. I mean, this one doesn't have a bandana piece connected to it, which is a bit odd. I don't remember if you saw it or not in the anime, but that's how easy it is to swap the head sculpt so we do get the four interchangeable heads and then we also get two batarangs a bat bomb we do get a grapple gun with two different grapple hooks and then we do get the retracted and extended bow staff and a piece of pizza and the uh the batarangs turned out pretty cool i believe they're the same as batman's just a little bit smaller they missed a little bit of paint there but these definitely are, are pretty cool batarangs then we do get the bat bomb here which i believe is the same one we got with batman there Nice uh, detail on that. And then we do get a smaller grapple gun, which is just like Batman's, just a little bit smaller. Very nice paint and sculpt on that, as you can see there. And then we do get the two grapple hooks, so we have the closed and open one. So we got the open one there and the closed one here. And all you do is just put it right in the peg hole there. And this one doesn't fit as good as the one that's open there, so... Just be careful not to break it. Then we do get his retracted bow staff and extended one. And it sits, just has a couple sculpted lines in it, as you can see there. And you will uh, get some paint rub from the hands, so just be cautious of that. And then we do have the collapsed or retracted one here. And the only thing with the bow staff, with his hands, a lot of them don't work with some of the accessories. Like, he could barely hold his post staff with the hands there so a little disappointed about that and you can barely get him to grip onto the grapple gun and same with the bat bomb he can't even hold the bat bomb which i found a bit odd so we do get that stuff oh yeah and robin is also included with a piece of pizza so we get all that stuff and then we also get his size and a piece of pizza and i believe the manhole cover is for Raphael since the turtles always come out of the sewer so we do get his size here and they turned out really nice the sculpt detail looks pretty cool around the wrappings there and the paint's pretty clean for the most part you just just have to be careful when you sheathe them it will rub off some of the paint as you can see right here and same thing on this side as well and there is a little bit of like paint bleeding on here also but besides that i think the uh, size turned out pretty good and i'll show you after how to sheet them shortly and then he's also included with a piece of pizza and all the pieces of pizza are probably the same ones that we get with every figure there so we do get that and then Raphael also i believe this is for him we do get a uh, a sewer lid cover here which says gotham city on it it looks pretty cool so a nice job on the sewer lid there. So we do get that stuff for Raphael, and I'll show you how to sheath his size right now quickly because I couldn't figure out how to do it at first. And the way you sheath Raphael's size is very simple. You just slide them right in like that, and then there you go, as simple as that. When I first got the figure, I'm like, where's the piece that connects here that connects them to the size? So I couldn't figure out how to holster them. All you do is just slide them in the peg holes 
And then there you go, as simple as that. So we do get that stuff for Raph. And then we also get a total of 12 alternate hands. So we get 6 for Raph and 6 for Robin. And for Robin's interchangeable hands, starting on the right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands where the thumb is molded together to the fingers. And these are really meant for the batterings. Then we do get a pair of widened gripping hands. And this is meant for the bow staff, the bat bomb, and his grapple gun, but like I said, he doesn't really hold his bow staff too well with these hands. And his hands are very easy to swap out, just be careful, the wrist joint is very thin, but his hands also tend to pop off as well. But we get some great scope detail throughout all six hands. And Raphael is included with six interchangeable hands, so starting on the top here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands, and we do have a peg hole in between the two fingers so you could have Raphael hold his size like how he usually does a picture should pop up to show you what I'm talking about really like that DC collectibles did do that it can be a bit scary getting him to grip onto his size like that though because his fingers are a harder type of plastic and then we do get a pair of open type hands and all the hands are pretty simple to swap out and we do get some nice paint and sculpt detail throughout all six of them but anyway that is all the accessories included with this two pack Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Damian Wayne and Raphael to the top of Raph's head, it looks like he's about six inches tall, and to the top of Damian's head, he's about five inches tall. And then here they are compared to the DC Collectibles Batman vs. Team and T Batman and Leonardo, the NECA original movie Team and T Raphael, and the Mesco 112 Silver Knight Batman. And I think all four of these figures scale extremely well together. And then here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Gotenks, the manga version Super Saiyan Gohan, the articulated icons Blue Shinobi, and the NECA original movie TMNT Shredder. And then here they are compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and this is where these figures get really bad. As I've been showing you and mentioning, we have horrible loose joints. And not just that, we have really bad movement with these figures as well. So for Robin here, his head is even loose also. Uh, it's just a ball peg, so it only goes up and down that much, which is horrible. Very nice pivot, though, and then it does swivel there. We do get a torso joint. I don't think we get a waist joint. Oh, no, we do get a waist joint. So with both joints, pff, whoops, don't force the articulation too much. With both joints, he crunches forward that much, and both joints goes back about that much. You do get... <laughs> pivot at the torso you really don't get pivot at the waist and then they both do swivel you get better swivel at the torso though let me pop his crappy leg joint back together uh, now for the arms here they do go out to the side 90 degrees they do go up and down no bicep swivel but there is swivel at the single jointed elbow that just hits 90 degrees and it does swivel and then we do get a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel on hinges back and forth then the legs here the lower portion of his shirt does hinder some of his leg articulation so and it's it's like a harder type plastic and you can see it cracking the more you force the legs up right there so that is definitely not a good thing so robin really only can get his leg forward about that much which seems to be about 45 degrees you can try to force it and get it more but you're going to keep cracking the lower portion of his shirt there and you're gonna get paint rub as I just did right there they really don't go back at all and he can definitely not a Jean-Claude Van Damme it they, they barely hit 45 degrees you get a little bit of a hip swivel there we have double jointed knees here that do bend back all the way and <laughs> there we go they bend back all the way so nice knee joints they're just super loose while well, that one is look at it it's just hanging there <laughs> and then for the ankles they swivel just a tiny bit. They really don't hinge up. They hinge down really well. And then we get that really weird ankle pivot where it goes outward. You know what I mean? Like that, that's, I don't like ankle pivot like that, man. But it's better than having no ankle pivot, I guess. So 
that is Robin's articulation. Now let's take a look at Raphael's articulation. And for the movement on Raph, he really does not have good movement. I think Leonardo had better articulation. So the head here just goes up and down a tiny bit. Very minimal pivot, and it does swivel as well. We do get a torso joint, but like I said, it's really difficult trying to use them because the shell, the top of the shell and the bottom of it, or the front and back, it's it's more of a harder plastic than a softer rubbery type plastic like it is but it's there's just too much in the way for him to be able to use that joint right there which uh, I, I completely understand it's hard for a toy company to work in torso movement on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure so uh, the arms here do go out to the side 90 degrees they do go up and down no bicep swivel we do have it at the single jointed elbow that doesn't even hit 90 degrees which is very disappointing then we do get the swivel there we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth and i like that they put ball hinges on uh, these these figures here definitely a good idea but raf does have some loose leg joints there which isn't too good and he does kick forward uh, just shy of 90 degrees not too bad goes to the back about 45 degrees let's see if he can van damn it and damn right he can because he's a ninja turtle then we do get very minimal hip swivel right there wish we got more swivel then we do have the double jointed knees that bend back not even uh, about 90 degrees i guess and the ankles here do not swivel don't really hinge up at all they hinge down really well and then you get a nice ankle pivot his doesn't go like when I used Robin's pivot it brought the bottom of his foot all the way in front of his knee with Raphael it doesn't do that so the pivot on the turtles are much better than the bat family figures but overall the articulation on these sets so far are not really too impressive and you're not gonna be able to pose them around in a lot of dynamic poses you can get them in some some decent poses and i'm about to show you some of those right about now but anyway that is my review of the dc collectibles batman vs team and t robin and Raphael two-pack hope you enjoyed it if i had to rate this set with detail i'd give it an even eight articulation i'd give it a 4.5 accessories i'd give it an 8.5 and the overall quality i'd have to give an even seven if you would like to know the price and where to get this two pack you can only get it from gamestop.com since they are exclusives to that store and ageless geeks i don't think will have these but you can get your other figures and collectibles from ageless if you can't find something on the website i do highly recommend going through their instagram or facebook page i will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well like i should not like it but thanks for watching i will see you later So we do get the same style collector friendly box that we got with Batman and the Leonardo two pack. <laughs> two pack that we get with these two figures here. So we do get the one right there with Here is the bottom of the box. We do the barcode of the lesson. Nobody cares about the DC Collectibles Batman vs. The DC Collectibles Batman vs. Team and T Batman and Leonardo. The Napa. Moving on to the accessories and the Overall, the detail definitely the best part to these. <laughs> Damn it, Raphael! You did a sneaky sidekick to Robin there. That wasn't cool. <laughs>